thank you. And you know who I want to thank? I want to thank me. The 2023 Emmy Awards were its most diverse yet. The Emmy celebrated its 75th anniversary on Monday night after being pushed four months due to the dual writers and actors strikes. Appropriately falling on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the show handed out five of the 12 acting Emmys during the telecast to performers of color. The show made history with its first two awards of the night, with wins for The Bears, Iowa Debery and Abbott Elementary's Quinta Brunson, marking the first time that the supporting and lead comedy actress Emmys both went to black women in the same year. In addition, Brunson is only the second black woman ever to win for lead actress in a comedy series after the Jeffersons, Isabel Sanford did in 1981. Thank you so much. Just, I don't even know I'm so emotional. I think like the Carol Burnett of it all. <laughs> Niecy Nash Betts was the third black actress to win an Emmy on Monday night in Best Supporting Actress in a Limited Series. I accept this award on behalf of every black and brown woman who has gone unheard yet over policed. It was also a historic night for the AAPI community. Beef's near sweep in the limited series races meant Emmys for its lead performers Stephen Yun and Ali Wong. Wong is the first Asian woman ever to earn an Emmy for a lead role. To my beautiful daughters, Mari and Nikki, you are my everything, and thank you for inspiring me. In non-acting categories, RuPaul's Drag Race host RuPaul extended his record for most decorated person of color in Emmy's history, with 15 and counting. And Trevor Noah became the first person from the global majority to front an Emmy-winning talk show. We did it! We got rid of John Oliver! For more on everything from the Emmys, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.